Hey guys, welcome to my second annual <laughs> pack with me. Just kidding, it's really not an annual thing, but we are headed to Disney again. And I did a packing with me video last year. You guys really loved it and have been asking for another one. So here we go again. Still gonna be hot there, not as hot as it is in July. But the biggest difference this year is I've been bearing a child. So my goal is to just be as comfortable as possible because it will be hot. Hold out all my clothes, hold out all the kids' clothes. I'm gonna show you some of the stuff I'm taking for them too. But essentially I have park outfits, nighttime outfits we usually just go out to dinner let me show you what i'm doing oh and <clears throat> i'm bringing a lot of stuff that i brought last year to disney so i'm going to link last year's disney video packing video in the description box below i did a whole try on with everything that i brought last year you can also peep my instagram to see what i wore make sure you're following me again this year on instagram so you can see again what i'm wearing i'll try to put links to whatever i can find that's still available but like i said a lot of this stuff is from last year it just worked for me really well in the summer, so comfort and ease is the goal here. This little black polka dot dress was from Target last year, and I'm bringing this again to wear in the park. Easy, fits a bump, perfect. It's sleeveless, so it's nice and cool. This is something new. I'll try these on for you so you guys can see. It's a little red romper from Abercrombie & Fitch. This would be so cute, pregnant or not. I think even better if you're not pregnant, but I'm gonna show it to you on. And then this is one of those Amazon dresses that I shared on my Instagram a little while back. They're $17.99. I got one in red and I have one in cobalt on its way here. So these are great park options because just sleeveless, stretchy, really light. Here's the red one. Super, super cute with a bump. It's just easy. And I could do this at night too with like a denim jacket. But these are amazing. They come in like 27 or 30 color or something crazy like that. And like I said, $17.99. So my cobalt one should be here tomorrow. Still holding out for the black. Here's the little romper. The straps are adjustable. I'm probably going to skip the bra. I don't really need it. Cute with a little bump, but even better, I think, if you weren't pregnant. But this is just one of those easy one-piecers that will keep me cool and comfortable the back is kind of hard to see but it's that elastic like stretchy material this is a small and the dress i just showed you too is also a small so cute and you could adjust this too if you need it to i should mention that we are going to be there for one week so i need like six dinner outfits and seven park outfits but I always pack a little bit more because you just never know. <laughs> you never know if I change my mind or I'm just really not comfortable that day in something or the weather changes. So I like to have backups, but I'm also bringing three pairs of denim shorts. These are super old and worn in. I love these, some of my favorites from Abercrombie and Fitch. My one teaspoons. These are always like a super oversized fit, so they fit me perfectly right now. These are from Aerie last year. They have a they have a very similar version this year. They don't have the pinstriping, but they have like a basically like a cotton blend denim, and the waist is elastic, so super comfortable. So I'm bringing three pairs of shorts, and then I have three tops to go with it just in case. I have this little peplum tee that I've been sharing a lot on Instagram. It's sleeveless and white, so it'll keep me cool. This is a bodysuit that I'll probably just tuck in. It's just a white spaghetti strap. And then this is just a tank. Rolling Stones tee has large armholes. So I'll just wear like a bandeau or a bralette underneath. All right. And then for evening wear, I'm basically just bringing all dresses. This is a cotton linen blend dress from Loft last year that I got at the end of the summer. I got Addie a matching one from H&M. I'll try this one on so you can see. But if you... Did not get a chance to grab this from Loft last year, Abercrombie and Fitch, and I think also Express have exact replicas. This whole like light linen and tortoise like brown buttons is very trendy still again, so these are easy to come by. This is a basic slip dress from Abercrombie with little red flowers. They also have a black polka dot one that I'm gonna be ordering to have in time. You guys might remember this one. I have had this dress for like something crazy, three years, four years. It was like $8. 
on Shein or Romway. It's an off the shoulder dress. I wore it last summer all through my pregnancy with Bentley. It's just easy, comfortable, and light. So I'll throw those on so you can see what they look like. This dress I wore in Disney last year uh, for like a brunch we went to and I got this last year at Target on clearance. It was like under $20, super bump friendly. This is an Amazon t-shirt dress, something like, I don't know, $12, $15, just an easy, I thought even just to wear like around the room or just to hang out in, but I would wear it to dinner. And then I have this maxi from Amazon. It's just a black maxi. I swear there's like a trend here. All these little peekaboos on my romper too. This is just a black maxi. I'll try this one on. I shared it on Instagram. And I know a lot of you guys grabbed it. Let me pop these on. Here's this black t-shirt dress. It actually looks a lot dressier on than on the hanger. On the hanger it looks pretty basic. But here it's, it's really cute. It kind of flares out at the bottom. This comes in a bunch of colors too. Really affordable. Very light, just a tee. You could dress it up with some jewelry, jean jacket, something tied around your waist, pregnant or not. It's really, really cute and easy. Here's this little slip dress from Abercrombie. Wearing a small has the side slip up the leg, just on the one side. Straps adjustable, fits a bump like perfectly. I love this dress and it just makes me feel really good. It's just a very flattering, flattering shape, I think perfectly fits a bump so hence why I want to grab it in the polka dot here's the cobalt just so cute so easy you can cinch up the arms that's like a little perforated detail I love cobalt it's like my favorite shade of blue here is the cotton linen dress has pockets too. This is so cute. If you guys did not grab this, I would definitely recommend you having one for summer. Like I said, it's very trendy. Obviously, I bought this when I was not pregnant, but it kind of transitioned to a pregnancy dress, maternity dress, perfectly. And I will link the one to H&M for the little girls, but I think it might have sold out. If you don't have one of these dresses and I need to iron it, definitely grab one for the summertime because I think you'll get a lot of use out of it. It's neutral, so it'll go with anything. Really cute with a denim jacket paired with it too. Surprisingly, I actually like this dress better with a bump than I did without one. <laughs> I think just because it's so long. Um, so I'm gonna scour the internet for you girls and see if I can find you something pretty close to it. But again, if you are not well endowed, you could probably go without a bra here. Really, really cute with the polka dots. It's just like for show over it, so. You can untie it and adjust it, but just a cute little midi dress. If I don't end up wearing this in Disney, I will definitely be bringing this to Hawaii. I just can't believe that this is an Amazon find. It's gorgeous, and it's just so flowy. I love the bottom. The bottom, if you can see, has kind of like a little ruffled peplum. It's a great length. Straps are adjustable. The back is elastic, like a lot of these that I've tried on. Has the little peephole here. This is elastic too. It's a great little bump dress. But, I don't know, this just makes me feel super feminine and girly. And I think it was like $22.99, $32.99. Very affordable. It's just so comfortable. This could be a great dinner dress too, but I think I will definitely keep it on, keep it for the park because it's just so light and easy. I love the polka dots. Has that same little peephole here. It's a little, little swing at the bottom. I'll try to find something similar for you guys to this one. I think this tank was from Target. I can't remember. This is just really easy. I forgot this is one other little um, tank dress that I bought from Windsor. I think it was under 20. Has the buttons going down. Adjustable straps in navy. It's ribbed. Super comfortable. Super, super comfortable. And I would just do like sandals or sneakers with this. And as far as shoes and bags, basically bringing all flats. I would only wear flats in the park. I would maybe like wear wedges or espadrilles out at dinner. But honestly... Even when we go to dinner, that's a lot of walking too because we go to like downtown Disney and I just want to be comfortable. Plus I'm usually like 
pushing a stroller or carrying a baby. So flats it is. So I'm bringing both pairs of my Stephen Grease sandals, my Tory Burch Millers, which are all like easy neutrals. I'm going to bring these for the park because when in Disney, Disney glitter. Um, these are a new purchase this year and these will be both a park shoe and a pool shoe. And then I think I'm going to bring both pairs of my Target Birkenstock dupes. You guys can get your hands on these. Hunt them down. They are so good. These will definitely be worn in the park with an outfit or two. I don't think I'll have any outfits to wear these with in the park, but I'm going to bring these as like a pool shoe because they're just so light and easy for the pool. And then same bags as last year. I love this bag. I have a review of it on my channel. I'll put a link to it. This was my most used, most worn. It's a crossbody. It also can go as a belt bag and I love the pop of red and then I brought this last year but I never ended up using it but I definitely think I'm going to use it this year. I'm not really carrying like a big diaper bag because I don't find the need but, we, but usually I'll have like a big tote underneath the stroller where I'll put diapers, wipes, change of clothes, water bottles, snacks, all that stuff. The little bags I just carry on myself for like my phone, my wallet hand sanitizer, a thermometer. You'll see if you watch my Gucci review, everything that I kept in that for the park. Tylenol, stuff like that. Um, so hopefully this will be pretty, pretty good weight in my suitcase. And I also saw that they have this new um, rose gold, they call it rose gold, but it looks more gold sequin fanny pack. But I'm thinking I might order so that it's here in time or I could just get it in the park. So I might have that as a bag option too. We have the rose gold backpack. Addie actually wants to bring it this year, so I let her have it to pack with her stuff. All right, and then as far as bathing suits go, um, I didn't go crazy buying bathing suits this year because I am pregnant, so I kind of just tried to work with what I had. Um, this is fairly new from Windsor. It was like a final sale for nine bucks. It's just like a ruffled, off the shoulder, top and then I just picked up these little striped bottoms from Target. They were $14.99 so I could do those. And then I also have this Tula Rosa bathing suit top from last year. The bottoms were high-waisted so that's not going to work but I just have some basic black bottoms that I've had for years and I could do the black bottoms with this one too if I wanted. This was an Amazon bathing suit I shared on my Instagram and I have the same exact bathing suit coming from Amazon in red, just solid red. I love the fit of this. I sized up to a medium. This striped bikini is from, I think, last year in TJ Maxx. Super comfortable. This is like my best fitting bathing suit with this belly. And then this little bikini is actually from TJ Maxx last year, but it's the same exact style as this polka dot one from Amazon. I love the cut of them. I love that the top has this like it's literally the same exact suit I wonder if it's even the same I didn't think to check no it's a different brand but um so the tops have these like ruffles and then the back is a strap like this this is a little bit thinner but I love these so much better than like the tie straps in the back because it just fits better keeps you in so I don't think I'll end up wearing all of these bathing suits, but I just want to have options. I found these at Windsor. I'll put a link to these. <laughs> They're so cute. You can get the white ones on Amazon too. And then this is just a black and white striped bathing suit like sarong. This is a hair tie or like a beach tote tie. Forgot to show you I'm bringing this guy for the pool for the kids stuff in mine. This is from Forever 21. Just bringing two black beach cover-ups because the majority of my suits are black. This one is like sheer. It's just open, old from H&M. This is my Stellan Dot one from last year. I'll put a link to the updated one they have this year, but it's open, it has like a little hook. Two black bathing suit cover-ups, which will go with all of these suits, even the red one. Black Birkenstock knockoffs from Target will be my bathing suit shoes bathing suit bag. I could even do these little red jellies with any of those black suits too. Okay, I'm going to take you into Addie's room now. I'm watching the news about this Notre Dame <sighs> cathedral fire. It's making me really sad. Let me take you into her room and show you what I've got going for her so far. So again, packing her park outfits and 
outfits for at night which is pretty much all dresses so a lot of these i shared on an instagram um this little like red off the shoulder top and shorts are from h&m the strawberry rompers h&m this little leopard mini dress is h&m and then i'm gonna pack her some black shorts because this is a little short on her i thought this would be a cute outfit for animal kingdom this is an old dress that she's had i think she had this last year for disney I think same with this one, just an easy cotton dress. And then this cobalt dress I picked up at Target recently. And I thought she and I could match with our cobalt dresses when I get the one from Amazon. Those are all her like park outfits. Oh, and then this one is also new. This is from that company Do By Do that I shared on Instagram as well. Just an easy navy dress. Um, when she gets home from school today, I have like a bunch of stuff that I need her to try on from Disney the last couple years. I don't know if it still fit her, but let me show you the dresses I'm bringing for night. I have this dress and this dress are both by the brand Do By Do. I'll put links to them in the description box. It's just a black and white like swing dress. This one's a cute little gingham. This is the one I got for her to match for her night and match from H&M. This one's from Target, just a black like crepe dress. And then she was with me in Target the other night and I found this, I thought it was so cute. And then I also thought she could wear this for like Memorial Day or 4th of July. It's just a little tutu and then I just paired a, like a mini graphic tee so she can wear that to dinner one night. Picked her up these at Target the other night. They're like a mixed metal sandal that she could pretty much wear with any of these um, outfits. She also has these red native shoes that she had from last year that still fit her. She has these little glittery faux Birkenstocks that she can wear in the park with any of those. They're silver, so they'll go with anything. Also has these, but I don't think they fit her anymore. I don't know. She wears these to school sometimes, so that's an option too. She's really easy to pack because she just wants to wear dresses, and they're just comfortable and like rompers. They're so great. This is a maxi dress she's had for a while from Target that still fits her. And then these little shorts came in the three pack with the striped one so I'm going to just throw some tees in I think I have some Disney tees um, just as extra little outfits um, <clears throat> I got this for her to wear in Disney last year never even took the tags off never wore it so I can do that with these shorts and then these were little tees that her whole family had made up last year um, this still fits her too so I think I might do that with like the red shorts maybe just some easy tees so I'm pretty much done. Um, I have a bunch of stuff in Bentley's room laid on his floor. He's sleeping right now, but when he wakes up, I will show you what I'm bringing for him. And then I'm pretty much done. Then I just need to throw bathing suits for Addy, PJs for Addy, PJs for me, and like underwear. But we are packed. All right, Mr. woke up from his nap, so I'm gonna show you what we're bringing for him. Mostly everything Emma. here. Emma. Yes. The new shoes. I found these at Target. They had a version last year too. They're like the natives. They're waterproof, sweatproof, breathable, and kind of like a croc, but like a little bit more support. So bringing those, his little sneakers. I actually have two pairs of sneakers, his other ones too, but he's wearing them downstairs. His Mickey hat, his swim hat, and then pretty much everything I have here is from TJ Maxx. So I just got a bunch of swim trunks and like rash guards. This is from TJ Maxx. This I think I got at Target, the Batman one. Um, the shorts are really cute. <clears throat> I like having rash guards on him because his skin is still so sensitive. Um, little sharkies. This is TJ Maxx, $14.99, like Tommy Bahamas. So those are all the bathing suits. And then for the park, I found this cute four set from TJ Maxx with Mickey. There's two t-shirts and like two sweat shorts. And then same with this guy. Two tees, gray sweat shorts. This is a onesie. Oh, yeah. Yes. Little tee. To go with shorts that I have here. Shorts. He could do that for dinner one night too. Um, this is just a little tee and shorts. Tee. 
shorts. This is from that brand Doula Ju little set. Mama. Those are all like park outfits. Mama. And then what? Uh. You wanna go in there? You wanna go back in your crib? Why? I'm bringing him two sweatshirts just for nighttime. This Mickey one that his grandma got him. These are all his like dinner nighttime outfits. A lot of these things are from TJ Maxx. I love him in color. Kind of the same set, so it's like aqua blue and coral shorts. <laughs> He's putting the hat on me. Um, then I have these little Levi shorts, a little white polo tee. This is another set from TJ Maxx. It's like a dressier shirt, a tee, and then two pairs of shorts. Mama. What, bud? Uh. Um, this was this is a little tiny. You put mommy's hat on, Tommy Bahama set, and then a Tommy Hill figure. These are all TJ Maxx. Mommy. And then I have another little tee that he's had that I haven't even taken the tags off that I can just throw on with shorts for him. Same with this one, little tee. And then this is long sleeve, just a Mickey shirt. I'm just bringing it um, just in case, but I don't foresee any of us wearing long sleeves. I have his PJs over here, a whole bunch of hats, and that's Bentley's clothes. His little swim hat. <laughs> also, it's going to be our mission when we get there to get Bentley a new pair of these little Mickey Crocs. They have these all over the park, and he loves these. They actually light up. They have them in red, too. These are from last year, but they don't fit him anymore. So I want to get him another pair. So he'll have the Crocs, those whatever you want to call those, and then sneakers. Yes? Okay, so I think packing I, is complete. I did mine too. Kind of by myself, but... For at least really. the three of us. Dan is on his own, and I him and I will help Louie, but Louie pretty much packs himself too. Can I have these? Uh, no, you're going to have to fight me for him. Uh, oh, I have sunglasses. Uh, That's okay. Um, yeah, so it feels good. It's only Monday, and... Yeah. We are 98% packed. I just need to pack diapers for him and wipes. I actually need to place an order for some swim diapers. I don't have any swim diapers for Bentley. Toiletries. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found some good outfit inspiration or Disney outfit inspiration. Comment down below in the comments or she ever went to Disney. How was it? She's too much. Um, I'll have links to whatever I can find in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.